Buying an old Mercedes is fraught with risk, especially an old diesel. You know, people fall into this story that these old Mercedes, you know, especially these old diesels, they'll go for 500,000 miles. I see it all the time in these ads. This Mercedes has 300,000 miles. Good for another 500,000 miles. Yeah, maybe if it's been maintained. You cannot believe the number of emails we receive from customers who say, oh my word, I just wasted thousands of dollars because I went out and bought this old Mercedes and then I found out it had this big problem with the engine. Now I have to just get rid of it. Uh, you know, that, there's, there's two ways to save money when dealing with these old Benzes. Number one, you save it up front by buying the right car in the first place. And number two, you learn how to fix it yourself so you can avoid all those high shop rate repair bills. Now here's a great example. 82 300D, this owner just bought this car about three weeks ago. You know, he was all excited. He paid, a, I don't know, $2,000 or $2,500 for it. And he immediately ran out and bought $500 worth of new tires and a $100 new battery. And so, of course, he's really happy how this thing's working out for him. Then he takes it into an oil chain shop, and the guy says, Uh-oh, sir, I just found a problem with your car. Let me show you what he found. You see this here? This is the coolant reservoir tank. And if you look closely, uh, the color looks a little strange, doesn't it? These should be either white or kind of an uh, off uh, faded yellow color, but this one is kind of dark and spotty. And uh, this can raise some real suspicion if you see something like this. And sure enough, if you pull the cap and look down inside there, you can see evidence of engine oil. That means oil is getting into the cooling system. And at the minimum, that means removing the head and replacing the head gasket. It could even be something worse, but that's just at the minimum. So this owner was quoted a $1,500 repair bill and has now decided that he should get rid of the car. So there it is right there, buyer beware. So the owner has decided that he's going to let the car go. Now if you add up the purchase price and everything he's done to it, he has about $3,500 in the car. And if he's lucky, he may get $1,000 for the car or maybe more like $500. So he's looking at at least a $2,000 to, to $3,000 loss. Why? Well, I hope to answer that. I've decided after all, I mean, this is another tale of woe, and we get these tales of woe all the time. I've decided that I'm going to do a complete video on-demand workshop series that will take you, the viewer, through the whole process of what to look for in a Mercedes, how to go out and inspect it, how to get a proper pre-purchase inspection, and how to make sure you buy the right car up front and don't make the same mistake that this owner made. That literally could save you thousands of dollars. And this video workshop series is going to be available on my website. You can check it out by going to mercedesource.com.